first use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Now, hit your symbol button at the right time in order to transfigure the statue into its new shape. Let's see if you can transform this statue, and perhaps you'll find a way to reach the doorway at the top of the room. I actually don't remember this spell all that, all that much, to be honest. Yeah, I don't remember that spell all that much. Five points to Gryffindor. Now yeah, you just gave our points back. <laughs> to leave the class. Get out of my class now, bitch! I don't want you here, Harry Potter. How dare you live! Can I do anything with that bird? Like, flipendo it? I don't think so. Nothing's flashing on top of it. Which usually means you can't do anything. Meanwhile? The house point are soon are slowly, filling, slowly up. filling up. I kind of felt that, but that's because my audio kind of lagged. <laughs> 79. How did they lose like one random point? How did you even get that? <laughs> Slytherin. Wow. I think this is actually the point in the game where Slivering get in the lead. Gryffindor. Or you get neck and neck with them. Slytherin are in the lead on Ooh. house points. Boo! <laughs> I do like it how they just go boo! It's like everybody in this room is like not slivering. <laughs> but no, it's just it's just like um what you call it? Uh, Gryffindor is the only people in that room. Even though when they do that in the movie, everyone's in the bloody room. <laughs> okay, we found eight beans. How many is that collect? One hundred. Freak. Freak. <laughs> oh my freak. Do you only? I think you only have to press X on this. That's not too bad. Although it does move quite fast, so I'm surprised I got that last one in. Well, not last, but the, the, the second to last one. Okay, and then this is going to float up, yep. Whee! Okay. Anything on the other side? There's stuff. Um, we don't really need to save the game at the moment, because I kind of wasted a couple of minutes when I was BLBing anyway, so... Oh, hey, hey, look! Oh, we got a parcel! Oh, wait a minute! This is... The bit with peeves, isn't it? Yes! And I believe that bookcase on the left. Uh, okay. I believe... Nope, that isn't the one. Let's try the other side. I believe this is it. Aha, okay, there we go. That'll make four more to get after we've got this, um, wizard card. So it was the Forbidden Forest, which I'm just going to pull up the guide as soon as I get to the Forbidden Forest, so I know which point I need to look at to get the wizard card. I think it's right at the end of the forest anyway, but, you know. And then we got the three in, um, Gringotts. So, yeah. Did the game just freeze again? I'm getting really tired of this shit. Seriously, the game keeps freezing. Maybe if I wait long enough it'll stay there. Obviously I'm gonna cut though. I mean... If I wait long enough it won't stay there and it'll go to the next scene. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I should have saved actually. I did say that I was going to save, and I... <sighs> Hello, amigos. Watch your enemy go here. Now, um, I've tried the, um, tried to go in through that, to get that mini game countless amounts of times, and for some reason the game just won't load. It is quite badly scratched, which I don't really understand, seeing as I didn't really play this game that much. 
I do have another copy lurking around the house somewhere, but I can't find it for the life of me. So we're gonna have to miss out on this wizard card. I have an alternative on what I could do, cause um, ba basic basically um, I'm gonna show off what happens. I'll just um, find a video of somebody else playing it, show how you do it through there, and post commentate over that one little section. And then I'll just collect the other wizard cards. I have an action replay somewhere, so I can just you know use that to at least. Um, to at least uh, get the 100% ending, but that's presuming that you know everything else in this game loads. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm actually quite disappointed because I actually really wanted to get 100% in this game, legitimately. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully we can get the other stuff and then after I'll just... You know. You know the drill. Alright, we need to use um, this spell on this to turn the um, thing back to a bird. And then after that, the table will start levitating and we can go where Peeves is going. Sign Calm actually did find possible. Um, you can actually go through that bookcase on the left while um, while the cutscene is playing. It's actually kind of amusing. <laughs> I did that. Um... We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus just for you, Potter. If you get to the end before me, okay. you win. But um, yeah. Um. I tried doing it on one of the attempts um, when I was trying to, you know, get the bookcase to work. I'm probably, n I'm only going to show off the first time. Oh, actually, you obviously can tell that by now because you've already seen the footage, unless for some reason um, you accidentally missed it or something. But um, yeah, um, I'm only going to show off the first try of me um, seeing, seeing if the thing works. So the very first time when I found out that the thing kept freezing. I'm not going to go for every single take of me trying to find it because, you know, that would just be redundant. I did, um, I also tried um, hooking up my original PS1 because sometimes using that actually works. I would try the PS3 but you have to start from the beginning of the game and because yeah, I, I don't have the adapter that plugs in the memory card for the PS1 into it. So yeah. Basically what we're doing right... What the fuck? Um, what we're doing right now is we're following Peeves. Well, we're kind of racing him. I'm mainly just trying to collect the Bertie Bots beans, to be honest. <laughs> but, um... Oh, bloody hell. I'm sorry, I should um, try and be a little more happier, shouldn't I? Kind of hard, because, you know, this game is kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, nothing much we can do. But yeah, um... Yeah, we're going to be trying to collect, um, Bot's beans, mainly. Um... Do we flipendo this? Yeah, we do. Okay. And um, we still get points for doing that, <laughs> I'm actually wondering how long this actually is. Because it seems like they're copy and pasting parts of the level. Okay, now this looks different. Arrow, okay. <laughs> he was like walking through the wall there and I didn't know what the fuck's going on. We got quite a lot of red um, beans um, already, actually. Um, I hope we don't actually have to beat him because I'm going around collecting all these things. Although he keeps... He's phasing through the walls actually. Oh no, he's going... Oh, he's just going round, is he? I'm not sure. Oh shit. It's falling apart now. Yeah, I actually don't remember this at all. I remember Peeves, but I don't remember this section. What a cheat! Not fair! Peeves wasn't ready! Yeah, 
I would say the um, left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this I remember cloak, this. pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful. So to pick up the cloak that we already have, we need to go over a little item you, you know, it makes no sense. Obviously it's because, you know, video game. And it, it'll be totally broken if we could use it any time we wanted. Um, oh, this is the the door that I was trying to get to earlier. Okay, that's cool then. At least I know how to get there. Um, Harry Potter's jumping all over the place, so. Forbidden Corridor. Can we... Is there any other places? Can we check? Okay, that door's locked down there. I'm just going to go to the Forbidden Corridor. Um, something I actually was going to bring up. This game, um, I read some stuff about it, and it's actually based more off the books than it is the movie. And you can tell because they add character, um, like the characters that weren't in the movie and scenes that weren't in the movie well, here. Now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the forbidden corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. I remember this. Okay, I'm gonna save the game. It's not even like 20 minutes in, but I'm just I just want to save. Just cause. I'm getting sick of that Peeves cutscene because I saw it so many bloody times. <laughs> but yeah, now we're going to enter... If this is what I'm thinking it is, then... Please be... Oh, yes, it is what I think it is. Okay, these are the stealth sections. These stealth sections are awesome. Okay, you got this guy here. With his little cat. And if you jump in front of him... Um, he didn't actually see me there, what the fuck? I was trying to show something off, but yeah, fair enough. I love the way Harry looks when he's invisible, by the way. It looks so cool. I don't know why, but I just love that. It just looks awesome. Okay, we've got the key. And we unlock the door. But yeah, basically you got to sneak around them. And um, it allows you to access certain areas and whatnot. You just clip through that um, thing. A minute, can I? No, I can't. Actually, I don't think there's any more of those um, library doors anymore. But yeah, one of the reasons why I love these so much is they are really, really good at um, having a great atmosphere and building up tension. What is it, uh, Professor Snape? You said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the forbidden corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans. Can we, Mr. Filch? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. I would have loved to, like, laughed so badly if, um, because the invisibility cloak only lasts a certain amount of time. Like, if it just ran out during that cutscene <laughs> and Harry Potter just randomly popped out of nowhere. <laughs> But yeah, I find these are really good at building up like a great atmosphere and they make you, well, at least when I was younger, I'm not sure if it the same will apply now. We'll have to te test that, that's why I'm playing the game, of course. <laughs> but um, they, they make it make you very tense. I remember these scenes, I used to um, actually f um, find these quite creepy. And actually, thank you. And that cat there will actually... Um, um, ca 
catch you out. So you have to make sure you don't get caught by the cat either. Uh. And obviously when you're invisible no one can see you. <laughs> but yeah, collect the key and then move forth. But be careful because if your invis invisibility runs out and they find you, then you're a goner. They'll, they'll, they'll kick you out of the room and everything. 